MFA updates. Good morning, สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to MFA Update. This is a weekly program that focuses on Thailand's foreign affairs and activities, and I am Nishika Pumi, your host. This week, we will discuss the Global South South Development or GSSD Expo, which is an annual event to showcase successful development solutions and initiatives among the Global South countries. And for this year, Thailand will be the host of the 11th GSSD Expo, which is scheduled to take place from September 12 to 14, 2022. So today, we invited Kun Uri r a t a r a n t o Director General of Thailand International Cooperation Agency, to share with us more details about the GSSD Expo 2022. The foreign affairs that matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. So good morning, Kun u r i n a t Welcome back to the program. Today we are going to talk about the Global South South Development Expo or the GSSD Expo 2022. So, could you share with us the overview of the event and what kind of activities that we can look forward to from the expo, please? Thank you very much for having me back uh, to the program mm-hmm. um, for the GSSD Expo uh, this year. Uh, in general, it is a global event that is organized almost annually mm-hmm. by the agencies under the umbrella of the United Nations. Um, the expo is served as a forum for development cooperation agencies, including those in public and private sectors. Academic um, institutions, NGOs, and of course international organizations, to exchange their experiences and best practices in implementing development cooperation initiatives. So every year there are around 700 to 1,000 uh, people from around the world, um, especially countries from the um, what we call the southern countries or developing countries, attending this uh, important event to exchange. Their thoughts and ideas on the implementation of a development cooperation um, with um, other developing uh, countries, or what we call uh, in the name of the expo is a South South cooperation. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition to this, we also have exchanged uh, ideas on how to do development cooperation trilaterally, or what we call trilateral cooperation, which means cooperation uh, between more than two donor countries providing development assistance to a recipient country. For this year, uh, GSSD Expo uh, is taking place between the upcoming um, 12 to 14 September in in Bangkok, Thailand, uh, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand. Uh, we are very much uh, honored to co-host this event with the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, or what we call SCAP, mm-hmm. and the United Nations Office for South South Cooperation, or you know us. Um, what is um, so special about the GSSD Expo this year is that it is the first time that um, it happened in Thailand mm-hmm. and in the Asia Pacific. Oh. So at the um, GSSD Expo, uh, there will be uh, many interesting events, and uh, not only uh, a series of meetings for executives and experts from development agencies worldwide coming together to discuss and exchange ideas. Um, of course, uh, we have the leadership roundtables. Or we have, uh, and also we have um, the South South Cooperation Directors General from Forum for Sustainable Development. But also there will be many parallel activities, uh, workshops such as the thematic solution forums, youth for South entrepreneurship competition, uh, where young talents from across, um, you know, developing countries, we have an opportunity to gather, share knowledge and ideas, and collaborate to develop and scale up in. in Innovative solutions. Mm-hmm. Last but not least, we will um, at the um, uh, you know we will also organize the GSSD Expo um, Networking Night, which will be a grand finale for uh, our expo uh, this year, where people in the development fields can mingle and network, and by that they will be able to continue their work together and develop uh, cooperation even after the expo. 
It seems to me that the United Nations and the world attach great importance to the cooperation between developing countries or the South-South cooperation. So, what are the policy and the roles of Thailand on this cooperation? Well, as I have mentioned, basically the South-South cooperation is a cooperation between developing countries, or what we call the Global South, because uh, countries in the Global South have, you know, similar uh, socio-economic and development context. Mm-hmm. The development cooperation between these countries work in um, more efficient way and create significant contribution to, uh, you know, development in global level. And later on, the United Nations also recognize the importance of the South-South cooperation trends. Therefore, there, uh, the plan of action from promoting and implementing technical cooperation among developing countries, or what we call TCDC, was endorsed at the UN conference on technical cooperation among developing countries in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mm-hmm. The plan of action reflects the commitment of developing countries to promote cooperation between each other. For economic and social development, and for mutual benefit of uh, the world community. So, um, by having similar levels of development, uh, developing countries are most likely to face similar. Uh, development uh, challenges. Mm-hmm. Therefore, each country can share their development exper- experiences and success, best, best practices, and uh, at the same time, learning from each other. So I think it's a very essential for finding solutions to solve uh, economic and social problems. Mm-hmm. And not only um, we work at the bilateral level, there is another form of cooperation known as a triangular cooperation in Involving three parties, mostly uh, triangular cooperation is a collaboration in which a developing country with uh, sufficient knowledge, skills, expertise, and resources, and uh, another developed country jointly grant or provide um, assistance to another developing country. Uh, for Thailand. Uh, at present, uh, development cooperation remains one of the pillars of Thailand's foreign policy. As an emerging donor and as stated in the government's 20-year national strategy, as well as in our 12th National Economic and Social Development Strategy and the 20-year national plan. In addition to this, our work in development cooperation is also in line with the Ministry of Foreign Policy in um, you know, uh, fostering the four securities, or what we call 4S, in response to the uh, changing development needs of the world, of the country after the COVID-19 pandemic, mm-hmm. which include health security, job security, food security, environment, and uh, energy security, which of course, when you see these uh, subjects, it also, um, you know, the strength and, uh, you know, the, that we have uh, as a Thailand expertise that we can offer to uh, the other developing countries as well. Mm-hmm. And for the GSSD Expo for this year, could you share with us the highlight of the Expo, please? This year, uh, GSSD Expo will be the first ever Expo to be hosted in the Asia Pacific region mm-hmm. and the first to be convened in person after the world facing the uh, COVID-19 crisis right. that has, of course, tremendously impacted all the pre-existing development plans and corporations. Mm-hmm. So the theme of GSSD Expo this year is advancing South-South and triangular cooperation for sustainable COVID-19 recovery towards a smart and resilient and future. So the theme reflects our efforts to put uh, put forward and revive the cooperation among developing countries and developed countries towards a sustainable recovery and building of community resilience to changes and adversity. Countries and development agencies from around the world will be sharing their expertise in important areas such as economic um, uh, social, education, technology, innovation, poverty eradication, as well as food and energy security. Mm-hmm. Knowledge and experience gained from this expo can be applicable to uh, development cooperation to bring about solutions that are significant uh, to social conditions of uh, developing countries, as well as to mitigate problems and challenges that each country is cu- currently facing. Mm-hmm. It looks like the expo for this year is very special, not only for Thailand, but also for the Asia-Pacific region as a whole. And can I ask what can Thailand achieve from being a co-host of this important event with the UN? 
the fact that Thailand is selected as a co-host of this important event um, reflects the recognition of our successful role in the international development cooperation. Co-hosting this expo is also a good opportunity for Thailand to showcase our work and achievement on development projects in various sectors uh, to delegates and participants from countries and agencies around the world. As one of the co-hosts, we have prepared contents and highlights with an aim to strengthen development cooperation, share new experiences and to best accommodate international participants. Uh, we have been working closely with SCAP and UNOS, our co-host, on the expo's concept, theme and topics as well as its activities. This expo provides an opportunity for us to uh, present and drive Thailand's important agenda to the global stage, such as first, um, further developing on the key concepts from Thailand's ASEAN Championship mm -hmm. to support sustainable development partners. Uh, secondly, um, it's also help promoting the adaptation of sufficiency economy philosophy or what we call SEP, our homegrown development approach to achieve the SDGs or sustainable development goals or what we call SEP for SDGs. Mm -hmm. And we will organize the first uh, leadership roundtable on this topic on the 12th of uh, September, the first day of the expo. And third, we can showcase uh, Thai agencies as well as academic institutions as implementing agencies for South-South cooperation through various um, side events and thematic solutions. Last but not least, we can promote uh, Thai private sector's role on sustainable development. And at this expo, we will once again display Thailand's virtual development exhibition. We have launched it in uh, March this year so that the expo participants can witness and learn from Thailand's best practices and successful development approach, uh, including uh, the sufficiency economy philosophy uh, for sustainable development goals. We also have uh, in that um, uh, exhibition our uh, voluntary program, Friends from Thailand or FFT, and also um, the projects of uh, public health in response to the COVID-19 and its recovery, plus uh, trilateral cooperation and, of course, human resource development projects implemented in many parts of the world. Some of the projects have been selected by the UN as the good practices um, towards sustainable development goals, such as the um, Friends from Thailand uh, FFT program that I have mentioned, and the trilateral project between Thailand, Germany, and Mongolia on the application of the SEP in promoting sustainable tourism and sustainable development in, in Mongolia. In addition, there will be the Asia-Pacific Director General's Forum and the Global Directors General Forum on the 13th and 14th September, respectively. Uh, this uh, are to be the platforms for DGs from various countries to share ideas, experiences, and best practices with regard to South-South um, cooperation, especially during and after the crisis of uh, COVID-19 and in strengthening developing countries' um, institutional capacities and national ecosystems. And on top of the discussion in the meeting rooms, um, I think it is the first ever activity for the GSSD Expo, which uh, it is, um, you know, this activity is initiated by, by Thailand. It's a field visit to um, the globe. Uh, the Golden Jubilee Museum of Agriculture. Uh, we aim to uh, provide an opportunity for the participants of the expo to learn from actual implementation mm -hmm. of our community development projects under the principle of uh, sufficiency economy philosophy. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, Thailand, together with the co-host, we organized the uh, Youth for South Entrepreneurship Competition. This competition is an opportunity for the general public and young talents from uh, across developing countries to compete and in innovative uh, business solutions with the focus on how to scale up the efforts to achieve the UN's uh, SDGs. So currently, 
uh, top 10 final shortlisted entrepreneurs have been selected and they will attend the GSSD Expo um, 2022 in Bangkok to compete for the final round. Um, it will be on the September 14. Mm -hmm. um, a representative from, from Thailand will join the jury panel as well, along with other uh, representatives from SCAP and other UN agencies uh, to uh, select the winner. Sounds like there are going to be a lot of interesting activities going on there. And the GSSD Expo 2022 is only a few days away. So do you have any recommendation for the audience and general public who are interested to join the event? Well, um, on behalf of uh, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand and the co-host, I would like to extend the invitation to our sectors, both in Thailand and internationally, including those in the public and private sector, students, general public, to attend the GSSD Expo uh, 2022. 22 together. For, for those who are interested to join the expo in person at the United Nations Convention Center, Rajadam Nanak Road uh, in Bangkok, pre-registration is required by today, 9th of September, in order to receive an access pass to enter the uh, United Nations uh, Convention Center. Um, you can uh, register at the GSSD Expo website or uh, check in our um, Taika Facebook page uh, for more information. But for those who want to join us online, you can visit the United Nations SCAP YouTube channel or Taika uh, Facebook at Taika Corporation. Thank you, Kun Uri Lattarento, Director General of Thailand International Cooperation Agency. And that's it for our program this week. If you want to listen to the previous episodes of the MFA Update, please visit the YouTube channel MFA Thailand as well as our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English. Thank you so much for listening and we will see you next time. I am Nishaka Pumi. Swadiha. MFA Updates.